So let's take a look at another example of metadata in the news. Now, this one is also fairly new when I'm making this video, but it'll probably be old news by the time you watch this. Something else that's just come up within the last few weeks is Apple has announced their latest operating system, OS X Mavericks. Now, I definitely do not want to get into a review of the latest Apple operating system. First of all, I'm not qualified to do that. Second, that's a task much better left for the technology bloggers. But I do want to point out a new feature that's interesting to us from a metadata point of view that Apple has rolled out, something that they're calling tags, something that lots of people would call tags. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a copy of Mavericks to demo this for you, so I'm just going to show you Apple's web page in which they describe Mavericks. So here we are. Here we have the part of Apple's web page about Mavericks which discusses tags. So in Mavericks, you can add tags to files and apps. Um, and you can add multiple tags to a single file or a single app. And then you can also search by the tags that you have assigned to these objects. Now, I don't want this to be an ad for Apple, even though in the interest of full disclosure, I am a Mac user myself. But given that I'm teaching a metadata course here, this is really quite cool. The point is here that Apple has implemented what is called descriptive metadata. Right? Again, metadata that describes an object. Now, descriptive metadata is nothing new for Apple. Apple has been working with descriptive metadata for a long time. It's been implemented in iTunes for years. But this is the first time that Apple has implemented descriptive metadata in their operating system. And for that reason alone, I think this is newsworthy for Apple and interesting for us. What you can do here, right, is create your own tags and then assign tags to the objects, which, whether those are applications or files or whatnot, have things be color coded, right? The Great Barrier Reef here is red, so it's the important tag. And then you can search by the tags that you create. Now, this what I'm doing here is hardly a serious demo of this feature in OS X, right? Just like the previous video was not a serious discussion of the privacy implications of the NSA collecting phone metadata. I just want to make the point here that metadata is all around us, all the time. And sometimes it's called metadata, and sometimes other terms get used, like, for example, tags. But it's all metadata. It, it is data that describes another thing. And anytime you're not talking about the thing itself, but a description of the thing, tags that you create, data about a call that's created automatically by the cell phone network, that's metadata. So now let's move on to our regularly scheduled course and talk about metadata in a little bit more depth.